Welcome back to Black Legacy TV. I'm your host, T. Lindsay Billingsley, and I'll be reading to you from The Comedic Tree of Life by Muada Ashby. This is extremely fascinating, so stay tuned for the entirety of this video through to the end. You won't regret it. And I'll leave a link to purchase this book or to learn more about it in the description box below. Let's get into it. Preface. The ancient Egyptian origin and mystery of the spiritual tree. The concept and iconography of the tree as a spiritual symbol and or metaphor has been used from time immemorial throughout human history. Most people in modern times have become familiar with the concept of the quote unquote tree of life through a system of spirituality called Kabbalah. However, the idea of having direct access to God through special knowledge and Kabbalism was already evident in the teachings of the ancient Egyptians, the Christian mystics or Gnostics, the Hindus and the Buddhists who all came long before the Kabbalists. In ancient Egypt, however, the teaching of the Tree of Life took on a special meaning. In its earliest form, originated in ancient Egypt, it was related to theurgical religious system developed in the ancient Egyptian city of Anu, and the tree was seen as the source of life, and it was the goddess as the divinity being worshipped, who extended the nectar of life itself through the tree. This idea of a nectar of life is also evident in the special Bodhi tree of Buddha and the tree of life in the Garden of Eden, which is also, according to some Christian traditions, known as the tree upon which Jesus was crucified. Also, the cross of Jesus is often referred to as a tree of life. In present day practice, the Christmas tree was originally supposed to be a manifestation of the same idea. The star at the top of the Christmas tree was supposed to symbolize the attainment of cosmic or Christ consciousness. Now, worship of the tree goddess in ancient Egypt. The tree goddess motif is fundamental in the art of the ancient Egyptians. In Kemitan or ancient Egyptian myth, the tree is a life-sustaining and enlightening source, and the tree goddess is the divinity of wisdom who lives in the tree and extends its bounty to the spiritual aspirant. Thus, the tree goddess motif is fundamental in ancient Egyptian iconography. It symbolizes the goddess in general, but the goddesses Nut and Thetru in particular as the compassionate, life-giving female divine essence. The goddess sustains as a mother looking after her children, nurturing them with physical and spiritual sustenance. And when their time is up on earth, she reaches down and lifts them up to the heavens. In Kemitan myth, the tree goddess in the form of goddess Nut treats all human beings as she did her son Asar in ancient times. As she lifted him up following his resurrection, so too she treats all human beings as though all human beings are Asar, incarnated souls who will one day return to the source from whence they came, in the sky, the heavens, the ancient Egyptian mystical tree, and the implications of the pillar of Asar. The Jed pillar is associated with the ancient Egyptian gods Asar as well as Ta. It is part of a profound mystical teaching that encompasses the mystical life force energy that engenders the universe. It is the driving force that sustains all life and impels human beings to action. In the Asarian resurrection myth, it is written that when Asar was killed by his brother Set, his body was thrown into the Nile and it came ashore on the banks of Syria. There, it grew into a tree with such a wonderful fragrant aroma that the king of Syria had it cut into a pillar for his palace. The pillar of Asarta, made from an acacia tree, 
is a mystical reference to the human vertebrae and the serpent power or life force energy which exists in the subtle spine of every human being. It refers to the four highest states of mystical psycho-spiritual consciousness in a human being, with the uppermost tier symbol symbolizing ultimate spiritual enlightenment wherein one discovers one's higher identity as one with the supreme being, the mystical spiritual movement. Also, the Jet refers to the special realm of the Duat, or astral plane, wherein Asar, symbolizing the spiritual resurrection, can be discovered. Forward. This book is about the ancient Egyptian concept of the tree divinity and the unique philosophy of a tree of life spiritual system for promoting spiritual evolution to enable human beings to attain spiritual enlightenment. We need to clarify that the tree of life that is the subject of this book is from the ancient Egyptian religion and is not associated with Judaism or the Kabbalah. Rather, there is some evidence that these religious systems may have taken some elements from the ancient Egyptian tradition of Anunian from the city of Anu, Theurgy, in order to develop their religious systems. Theurgy, as used here, refers to the practices of ancient Egyptian religion, including its sabait, or philosophy, priestly disciplines, rituals, wisdom teachings, metaphysics, hieroglyphic texts, and architecture related to the process of shitaut netter, or hidden mysteries, ancient Egyptian religion. Anunian theurgy emerged at least 4,000 years before the supposed date of the existence of Abraham, the reputed founder of Judaism, and at least 4,500 years prior to the earliest known evidence of the earliest known texts of the Jewish Bible. Therefore, the tree of life of Anunian theurgy is a far more ancient teaching and offers insights into the nature of tree of life mythology for all mythologists, metaphysicians, and religious studies proponents. Due to the factor of the greater notoriety about the Kabbalistic tree of life, it has been thought useful to add a further section discussing the concepts of Kabbalistic tradition based on the Jewish teachings and a brief comparative look at it and the ancient Egyptian teaching for those who have some familiarity with the Jewish system. In this way, the rest of this book, which details the Kemetic tradition of a tree of life spiritual system exclusively, will be more delineated and the special unique insights in it will be clearer to distinguish and easier to understand. Thanks for listening. Check out the book. I'll leave a link in the description to where you can learn more about it and pick it up. It is definitely a must read and a must have in every intellectual library. Until next time, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.